Hi guys, good morning. Today it is March 1st. It is like 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm whispering is because my family is still asleep because they don't have a fucked up sleep schedule. I do. I decided that I wanted to start just like vlogging and filming shit. Not necessarily like anything in particular. I just really want to document my life because I haven't been doing anything productive the last year. And I really want to f at least have something to show for this year, uh, 2021. So we're gonna we're gonna start vlogging. This is this whatever I film, whatever I post on my channel is gonna be a mix between my camera, my Canon EOS R, and my iPhone, which is what I'm recording now. But um, right now I am currently getting coffee. Uh, I got Dutch Bros like two days ago and well the day before yesterday so not yesterday sunday but saturday um i went to dutch bros with my little brother we got some coffee and today's actually sticker day which i was kind of looking forward to going to go get a sticker at dutch bros but um i already have coffee so i'm not gonna waste gas and drive all the way to dutch bros right now to go get a sticker when i have perfectly good dutch bros coffee here at home um which i'm kind of bummed though because the sticker is actually like really fucking cute it's a peace sign but it's like a kind of like a, a tie-dye peace sign it looks it looks really cool but i'm sure if anything i can find it on the internet on like ebay or poshmark or something sorry guys gotta put ice in my cup what can i say i like a cold cup of coffee i'm not really the biggest fan of like hot coffee i will never drink hot coffee if i have the option to have iced coffee like when we when i went to the um the grand canyon with my family like three years ago like everybody it was cold that day it was like november something it was like the day after thanksgiving i think or the day before thanksgiving somewhere around that that time and it was windy as fuck in the grand canyon and Everybody was drinking hot coffee, and I had the option to get a cold iced coffee, and I got myself a cold iced coffee, and no regrets. I am the type of person that, like, will eat and drink cold stuff when it's freezing cold. Like, this one time I went to Flagstaff with an X, and it was, like, snowing. It was literally, like, the first snowfall of the year. It's really pretty. It's romantic as fuck. Um, and... I ended up going to get fucking gelato at some like ice cream spot in Flagstaff and I was just eating my fucking gelato like nobody's business and it was delicious and it was like 40 something degrees, 32 degrees. I don't know how, however much degrees there it has to be in the, the atmosphere to snow but you know like right now with the pandemic and everything it's like it's not good to drink cold stuff when it's cold because like it could amplify COVID and shit, but like, I need my coffee and I need ice in my coffee, but I'm gonna go shower because I'm gonna go work out, hopefully soon. It might be a little bit too cold to work out, but uh, my fat ass needs to, <laughs> needs to work out this morning. So I'm gonna go shower, I'm gonna get ready for my day and then we'll see what else I have planned for today? Cause I have no fucking idea. Also, I gotta wake up, I gotta wake up little Pontiac cause he's an early bird. And as you guys know, the early bird gets the worm. Just got out of the shower. My lighting is a little bit shot right now cause like lighting in my room is just horrible. I have my light up here and then I have my computer on right there with Google in the front page so that it illuminates me because uh, the lighting in here sucks. So I figured, we should do a little bit of a morning routine since I've never done one of those before on my channel and kind of go through step by step how I usually get ready in the mornings or in the afternoon when I'm waking up at like two or three o'clock in the afternoon. I also have my coffee that I've been sipping on since I got out of the shower. I generally try to have coffee after I get out of the shower but a lot of the times I go get coffee once I get out of the shower. Most times lately, I've been showering and then going to go get Dutch Bros and then coming back and doing my little skincare morning routine. I reach into my little cabinet of curiosities and I get my Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub. Um, lately, the last like two or three weeks, my lips have been extremely dry. 
as you can see right here and right here my lips have been like super super like chapped and so i get the velour lip scrub in blue freeze and i just kind of pick up a little bit with my finger i just kind of like rub around and then i start just kind of rubbing it on my lip kind of get off the excess skin or any sort of dead skin that is on my lip and then um i generally don't do my hair like i don't put anything in my hair because i don't go anywhere and i spend most of my days laying in bed and just having my head in a pillow so like there's no point in really doing my hair unless i'm gonna go out then i put some of this lumen moisturizing balm i've been using this for like two years now it is my saving grace when it comes to skincare i love it it smells really good i'm like halfway done with this one i have to order more because i also use their um the the charcoal the, the charcoal cleanser for the face wash and i use that when i shower and um i i love it i've been using their products consistently for like a year and a half to two years now and i love the way it makes my skin work and makes my skin feel i have very I have a combo skin type, so like my nose and my forehead get really oily, but like my cheeks, my eyebrows gets really dry, and so it can be kind of disgusting when like you see like patches of like dry skin on my eyebrow. It's not cute. And then what I do next is I get a cologne. I have 10 colognes that I can choose from, but uh, right now I've been wearing my Burberry Touch. And that is only because I bought it and I spent $45 on it and I hate it. <laughs> and so I'm trying to use it up before I use my other more better smelling colognes. Um, but what I usually do is I'll spray like three spritz. So I'll do like one on my neck, one on my other side, and one like right down the middle in the chest. And I just kind of let that aerate. Last, what I do before I put on a shirt is I put on deodorant and I use the Old Spice Wilderness Lavender. It is my favorite um, deodorant to use is the antiperspirant lavender wilderness brand of deodorant so i'm gonna put this on i'm gonna pop on a shirt i'm gonna pop on a sweater because it's kind of chilly today in phoenix and i'm gonna <laughs> lay back in bed and watch how i met your mother so i'm gonna keep drinking my coffee enjoying my dutch bros and uh i'll see you guys in a bit so this is my outfit for today I'm all Adidas out. Uh, I don't have the shoes on yet, but I will be putting those on when I get ready to go out. I got this sweater yesterday from Adidas. I actually bought it like a week ago. It's a hazy rose um, Adidas sweater hoodie. I actually bought the um, the whole combo. I bought the hoodie and then I bought the pink hazy rose pants. Those should be getting here today, so I'm excited about that. But with this hoodie, I actually ordered it a 2XL, which... Is usually what I've been wearing lately with hoodies and sweatshirts, and they've been fitting nicely. I didn't take into account that, like, this one might be a little bit oversized at 2XL, and it turns out that it was. I ended up washing it because it was, like, literally, like, up to, like, here lengthwise, and it was just, like, super huge. So I put it in the dryer, and it shrank a little bit, and it looks, I mean, it still feels like it's huge on me i really like the sweater so far it's super comfy it's super oversized so i think it's gonna be one of those jackets that i wear when like i'm in a car for a long period of time or like i'm traveling in an airplane hopefully sometime soon and i just want to snuggle up in my in my hoodie just pop up the hood lay back in my little airplane seat and um be comfortable i just woke up from a nap it is like 307 in the afternoon and i just got my adidas package of my pink hazy rose pants and i'm gonna open it they got here actually like at 11 in the morning but i was asleep and i checked the security footage and i was like fuck i wonder if anybody like stole it because like nobody brought it in luckily it was still outside of the door so i told my little brother to go get it for me and he went and got it for me and i'm so excited to open up these pants so let's open these pants and see what they look like these are really fucking cute like lately i've just been really into like 
pastel -y or like not acid wash but like I forgot what kind of wash this is but this is like a specific wash of like pink where it's like dusty these are really really fucking cute look at these these are the cutest pants ever oh my god I can't wait to wear them one of these days I'm gonna put on my whole outfit the pink hoodie the pink pants and maybe like my white converse or black converse I think would look really good I don't know but I'm excited to try them on soon guys look they're finally here oh my god they're so comfy quick update on my day I just went to go grab some dinner with my little brother it's the first time that I've eaten all day besides my coffee this morning it is now 5 41 in the evening and uh, oof wasn't sure what I was craving and me and my little brother kind of went through some options and we decided on mod pizza but I got my favorite pizza it is barbecue um it is cheese blue cheese or they call it blue cheese over there but it's gorgonzola pineapples chicken sausage um pepperoni and it just it's so freaking good i'm almost done with it i'm almost i've, I've almost killed it uh, i have like two pieces left but um since i also like started my quote-unquote diet uh, i'm only drinking water with my food which makes me sad because like a nice dr pepper sounds really really good today um but I'm trying to like only drink water and coffee from now on. I'm only gonna like force myself to just either drink water when I eat. I'm gonna allow myself to have Dutch Bros coffee because it's the only thing that makes me happy in life. And um, maybe like have some sparkling flavored water every now and again. But like I'm really gonna try hard to like cut out all snacks and all junk food as, as as far as like snacks and things like that when it comes to food i still want to like indulge in like burgers and pizza and like that kind of thing but like when it comes to other aspects like drinks and snacks and things like that i think i'm only gonna like stick to just water and no snacks so we'll see how the first month goes i really want to just kind of see how this first month is and if i lose any weight i'm gonna probably do like a weigh in tomorrow um i think the last time i weighed myself was a few days ago and i was at like 270 exactly but since i just ate and i have a lot of liquids inside me i don't want to like weigh myself right now because like it's gonna say that i'm fatter than i am and it's gonna trigger me so i'm probably gonna do a weigh in tomorrow but um i am probably gonna go work out after i eat i'm gonna try to go work out after i eat and uh i'll see you guys in a little bit after i hopefully go work out because i don't even know if i am yet but hope that i have the uh strength and the uh, willpower to go do a little walk around the neighborhood all right guys i'm calling it tonight it is like nine o'clock in the evening nine o'clock at night nine in the afternoon it's nighttime i'm tired i'm gonna try to go to sleep early today so i can wake up early tomorrow and actually like be able to stay awake throughout the whole day um i didn't really expect to like vlog all day today which is weird because i just uploaded a video yesterday where i was like talking about how i was gonna not put out videos for a while and today i just kind of felt the need to vlog and i enjoyed myself i had fun it was nice filming and just filming a, a vlog again was just really nice so i think i might do it again i don't know we'll see how tomorrow goes aside from that i will see you guys tomorrow morning hopefully and i hope that you guys are all having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and i will see you guys on the next one bye good night good morning good afternoon wherever you are whatever time it is where you're at uh past dennis says Hello, or goodbye.